This video is brought to you by Beast of the East and the LA Dodgers owning my Atlanta Braves. Where do I begin? I don't know what the Atlanta Braves are doing. Well, I know what the Braves are doing. They are about ready to finish off another Atlanta sports choke. I don't get it, man. I, I don't understand. Again, I, I've said this in the past. I don't understand what Atlanta, Georgia did in the past to piss off the sports gods. I don't know. I have been asking that question a million gazillion times. We can never be happy here. We, we, we can never see the finished product of something great here. I don't get it. I, I really don't. Um, to lose the game last night the way that we did is just a microcosm of Atlanta, Georgia. It's a microcosm of the game. It's a microcosm of our problems. It's a microcosm of Atlanta sports. The long time suffering fans, the real ones, who stand behind these Atlanta teams day in and day out only to get their hopes crushed. It drives me up a damn wall. These last nine games have been horrendous. Uh, after the nine game road trip, a couple which seemed like a distant memory where we were 9 0. Ever since then, the Braves have played lethargic, have played not with the killer instinct, have played from behind 90% of the time. Just, I don't know what. I, I, I can't explain it. Um, Will Smith is atrocious. Will Smith is the worst 30 save player. Uh, season pitcher I've seen in my life. I don't know what in the hell why Brian Sinker continues to trot this guy out. Again, I know Richard Rodriguez has had you know has had his issues lately giving home run ball, but I would take a chance with somebody else. I mean, we are on the verge of collapsing a five uh, five and a half game lead that we had after the nine game trip or something like that. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. To see what's coming. And again, we can't stop it. Because we as fans can't stop it. We're not the ones that are on the field. The, the managers are supposed to be the ones to be able to control this. To see what the issue is and fix it. And Brian Sinker continues to make the dumbest decisions I've ever seen. Not, I mean, granted, it's not all on him. It's up to the, the pitcher to actually get a damn out. How many times has Will Smith been down to two outs... Or the last strike and giving up a game time homer or a game time hit. How many times did Will Smith come into the ball game with a one, with a one or two game lead and either hung on for his dear life after giving up a run or giving up the lead? I mean, what a disgrace last night. The Braves did. The Braves basically did from beginning to end what they should do. They scored first, two nothing in the first. Braves give it right back 2-2 two two in the bottom half. We're getting dominated the rest of the game. As clutch players do, Travis Darno, a three-run homer in the ninth inning to give us a 5-4 lead. And I'm like, okay, that's great. I'm shocked, but I'm not getting excited. I kid you not. I was waiting for this to happen. People can say, oh, it's karma. You're giving the bad vibes. No, it's what we see here. I'm tired of Atlanta fans telling me, you got to be positive. No! I'm not going to be positive when I see the same thing game in and game out, year in and year out. No! Prove to me that, there, that the Atlanta teams are worth me feeling positive and confident. We're up 5-4. to four. Travis Starr knows it's a big home run. And all of a sudden, I'm on Twitter, and we're all saying the same thing. Oh, God, Will Smith's coming in. <sighs> You know, you would like to be proven proven wrong just once. He gets two outs, two strikes, some guy I've never heard of, bam. And the Braves are the worst extra inning team I've ever seen in my life. 
You're already, first of all, it's already tough enough to score when you have nobody on base. But they, they give you a runner at second base, nobody out. First of all, I hate the extra inning rule. I think it's ridiculous. But they're going to give it to you. All you got to do, worst case scenario, bunt the guy over or sack fly him over to third. Sack fly. Now, granted, you're not going to get it every single time. But the Braves really don't get it every single time. Really? You can't, I mean, how many times in the extra innings do the Braves get at second base and cannot get them in? Whether they get second nobody out, second and third, one out, first and second, n- nothing. All these good hitters that we have, and we can't move them over. Move them over, move them in. ABC Baseball. You want to know why? Because the Braves believe that they got to try to hit a, get a base hit or a, th- or, a, or a home run to get somebody in. Why not do what you got to do at the moment to get the damn run in, for God's sakes? Stop swinging at everything. Bunt the goddamn ball. And then the Giants get get it. We The Giants get bases loaded, actually, in the 10th, and we get out of it. And then we go quietly again in the 11th. And then out of everything that happens, no, it's not a third baseman. No, it's not a catcher. No, it's not any top guy. Former Atlanta Braves pitcher, Kevin Gaussman, a sack fly. Even he can sacrifice fly a run, and he gets the game-winning RBI. A sacrifice fly from a freaking pitcher. How demoralizing is that game? Our lead is now down to two games. I've been saying for the last three months, even when we're struggling, Braves are still going to win the division. Braves have been proving me right. Now, I don't know. I, I can't look at you with a straight face and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Because the Braves can't blow out anybody anymore. They can't hold on to a lead. They're giving up too many damn home runs. And they're not playing well in extra innings. Everything that you got to do down the stretch. I mean, the, the last nine games have been horrific. The Braves have been in every single game, yet we're four and five. We have lost about two and a half games since the nine-game uh, streak started. Since the nine-game homestand, that first game against the Nationals, we were, I think, four and a half at, up at that time. We're now two. So we've lost two and a half games. Sad, man. It, I, it, didn't, it doesn't have to be this way. Again, I'm not saying the Braves every game have to win every game. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying the Braves have to have to blow out people every game. But does every game have to be the same thing? I mean, what are y'all doing in the dugout and 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 then when you're warming up for the game, do y'all say to yourself, oh, "Okay, we're in first place and we're gonna we're gonna tease our fans and make them sweat it out for three hours"? Do y'all want to win the division or what? Because if y'all blow this, y'all don't deserve to be in. Now, hypothetically speaking, right now, the Braves would be in a wild card spot. Do you really want a one-game playoff? What? Do you really want a one-game playoff? Now, I've given the Braves a bunch of credit uh, uh, for being able to take over first place with all the injuries to our key players. But we have good players. What are you doing, man? Brian Snicker, can you please stop pitching Will Smith in the ninth? Are you hit with a stupid stick? What is wrong with you? What are you doing? The 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 the, the whether the form of, of insanity is repeating the same thing that's driving you nuts to begin with. It doesn't work. It's not working. Oh, I don't. Know. This is what Smith. This is what Snicker said a couple weeks ago. I don't know. You know, I mean, granted, you know, Will Smith man makes it interesting, but you know, he's pitching good. He, you know, he's he's getting it. No, he's not. Nobody's confident with Will Smith coming in. Why are you not trying Rich Rod- uh, Richard Rodriguez? Hell, try Lou Jackson, for God's sakes. Try somebody different. We're trying to win this division, and we have a handful of games left. And they're not easy ones, and you're constantly letting games get away that we should be winning. The lead, I swear to God, it should be at least seven, eight games. Right now, no, 
It's too easy for Atlanta fans. We're not going to let you uh, uh, coax through the rest of the year. And, no, we're going to make it. We're going to make you suffer. We're going to make you believe, and we're going to make you suffer and let you down. Like the sports gods enjoy seeing us rant. This is sad, man. Braves, come on, man. I'm not even going to say get it together. I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the way. I'm sitting here just dumbfounded. Just dumbfounded. My text blowing up. Constantly remind. Please, my dude, would you stop blowing up my text? Especially in a frustrating moment. It drives me nuts, man. Please stop. I know what we're doing, okay? You make it seem like it's fun for me to, uh, to be blowing these games. I mean, I'm happy for you that your team's getting back in it and coming back in games. But again, I've told you this a million times. I don't blow up your phone. Please stop. Please. Please, man, stop blowing up my phone right now with updates every whatever Especially if we're blowing it. Please. I'm asking you nicely, my dude. It's frustrating, man. It's extremely frustrating. Let it ride out. We'll see what happens. And in the end, one of us will congratulate the other. Or every now and then, periodically, but every... You know, I mean, I see it, my dude. I see what's going on. Okay? When the Phillies were having their issues, I didn't blow you up all the time. Because I know you, you get frustrated. I'm, I get, I'm frustrated. I don't need to be reminded. Okay, please. Stop. I'll, I'll get a hold of you, I promise. I promise I will. But I don't get it, man. I, I don't get what the hell's going on here. You know, I hear this a lot. Oh, you're an Atlanta fan. You should be used to it. it you never get used to it. You never get used to your hopes being brought up and then crashing and burning. You you don't. This will be another. This will be another, another choke in Atlanta sports. As if the, all the other chokes weren't worse enough, and a, as if the NLCS choke wasn't worse enough. I mean, come on, man. Sports live in the ATL. I'll see you in the next one.